the new super sloppy double dare, and we thought we'd show you one of our uh, great obstacles that's called Lake Double Dare. And you know what? I think I'm going to take this off because I can't move my jaw. Can I do this? Oh, I feel much better. Now I can actually move. Thank you so much. Ah. Don't believe what they say about wetsuits. It does get cold in there. Well, we have some great new obstacles, some great new physical challenges. The two super contestants on this side, two on this side. Let's meet them. To my right, they call themselves the Messy Brain Buster. Say hello to Brenda and David. <laughs> Brenda was having a little trouble in the boat there. It's not as easy as it looks. Now, you have four brothers. Is that easy or hard to be the... Are you the only girl? Yes. And you like that? No. <laughs> what don't you like about it? Because they always pick on me, and I never get... Never I, get a chance to fight back. I never the, get the good side. Well, I'm telling you, you're going to do good here today, I promise that. And David collects rocks, and you don't really like them. You want to explain that one to me? <laughs> oh, because <laughs> oh, they don't move. Because they don't move? Yeah. All right, I'll accept that, I guess. you got to buy a pet if you want something to move. No money just yet. That'll change as time goes on. Say hello to a team over here. It's sort of a cerebral show. We have the Messy Brain Busters here and the Brain Freaks over here on my left. <laughs> Kim and uh, Jason. Now, Jason, you have some weird experience with a fire extinguisher. What is that about? Well, um, I was at home alone, and I had nothing to do, so I found out how the fire extinguisher worked, and it went off all over the kitchen table. Your mom must have loved that, huh? Yeah, she loved it. <laughs> and Kim makes a great monkey face. Just look in this camera right over here. Where are you? Over here. And make your monkey face for us, would you please? Yes, that is a great monkey face. All right, you have $20, and uh, let's talk about the rules on Super Sloppy Double. There are things haven't changed on that level. I'm going to ask you a question, and if you don't know the answer or think the other team hasn't got a clue, you can dare them to answer it for double the dollars. But be careful, because they can always double dare you back for four times the amount, and then you either have to answer that question or take the physical challenge. Good luck to the messy brain busters and to the brain freaks who have $20 on their side of the board and a $10 question. In literature, what character bellowed from the balcony, Romeo? Romeo, where for out the Romeo? Juliet. Yes, Juliet was the lady who did that, and you have $30. Another $10 question. In what sport would you use the terms birdie, eagle, or bogey? Golf. That's wild out there. Yes, golf is uh, the answer. What restaurant's initials spell IHOP? It's worth 10, or you can dare them. Dare. Now worth 20. Get on the board here, Messy Brain Busters. What restaurant's initials spell IHOP? Double dare. Now worth 40 or the physical challenge? Physical challenge. It's International House of Pancakes. And we have our first physical challenge of the day. Step right down over here, if you would. Whoa, a little slippery there from the water that I uh, left up there. Well, it's time to make some soup. And uh, gee whiz, who wants to... Uh, make the soup down there. Any one of you? Makes no difference. You want to do it? Go ahead. Right down over there. You go see Robin. Now, we have a pot, and uh, currently there is no soup in that pot. Am I correct in assuming that? Yes. But hold on to that, because we are going to make some great soup, uh, probably some vegetable chicken soup. Now, on this side of the stage, what we have are some tomatoes, and when I say go, you toss those tomatoes over there. You need to get one in the pan. Then you need to toss eggs in, and as soon as you get an egg in, you come over here and you get a ladle of this great chicken soup, all right, and you just pour it right in the container like that. But, you know, I see a problem already because the folks at home can never see what's in there. So I'm going to give this pan right back over there to Dave. And we have a, a bigger one and a better one that I think you're going to enjoy so much more. And I'll tell you why. Because now we'll all know exactly when that falls in because there's a little hole there. And put that on top of your head. So when you toss that over there, you have to get it in the pot. And you'll put the tomato in and then you'll send the egg over there. And since... The ladle isn't here. I left it over there. What I want you to do is pick up the whole container of chicken soup, the entire thing. It's kind of heavy. And walk over here and pour it right down on your partner's head. Okay? If you can do all that in 20 seconds or less, we're going to give you $40. Otherwise, it goes to the other team. Let's see what happens. On your mark. Get set. Go! We have 20 seconds. But you were so hard. So I'll tell you what, why don't we put this down over here? Welcome back to Super Sloppy Double Dare. We find out the brain freaks tried to make soup and came very, 
not close to doing it, but uh, missed by two seconds. So the messy brain busters have now tied the score. $40 a piece. Here's a $10 question. When a bee or wasp egg hatches, what crawls out? Larva, pupa, or Dan quail? It's worth 10 or you can dare them. Take the lead on this question. Dare. Now we're 20. Is it larva, pupa, or Dan quail? Or are you going to double dare them back? Double dare. Now worth 40. What is it? Are you going to take the physical challenge? Physical challenge. It's larva. And we have a physical challenge right over here for Brenda and David. And David, could you go on this side for me and Brenda, you go on the other side. Just step over on, oops, right over here. Now, we used to dunk ducks uh, on the old show, and on the new show, we're going to dunk ducks, but in a bigger, more, uh, well, elaborate fashion, because before we had a little pool of water and a little tub, what we have here is a big, big pool of chocolate, okay? And it's super sloppy because we want these ducks to get drowned. And how do you drown them? Well, you grab all 20 of them. You can take 10, you can take 10, whatever it is, but they must be under the water for a three count. Now, before, you could probably just lean over and do it. But if you want to jump inside and do it, that's up to you. Whatever you think it takes to win that $40, you have 30 seconds to dunk all the ducks. Good luck. On your mark, get set, go! Get in there! Dunk those ducks. I like this guy's point of view. He's going right in there and doing it. Super sloppy double ducks. Get some towels for these guys, come back up here, and, <laughs> and let's play some more. Super sloppy double there. $40 added to Brendan David's side of the board. They have $80, and they also have a $10 question, and they're going to make their move right over there, stand on those pedestals and those towels. And for $10, tell me on Star Trek, the next generation, what is the name of the spaceship? Bring it to 90, or you can dare them. Dare. Dare. Now we're 20. What is the name of the spaceship on Star Trek The Next Generation? Bring you up to 60, or you could double dare them back. USS Enterprise. You are right. The Enterprise is it, and $60 is what you have. $20 separating our two teams, and the brain freaks have control one more time. What kind of fruit is in Fig Newtons? Bring you to 70. Figs. Yeah, that would make sense, wouldn't it? We now have 70. $10 away from the lead as we move on to our next question. What actress is rock star Eddie Van Halen's wife? Would we'll tie the game. Dare. Now worth $20. Double dare. <laughs> the question is, what actress is rock star Eddie Van Halen's wife? Or you can take a physical challenge. Physical challenge. The answer is Valerie Bertinelli. And we have a physical challenge right down over here for the Brain Freaks. You know, a lot of honeymooners go to Hawaii, and uh, let's pretend that you're on a honeymoon, so I'd like you to go right over there next to Dave and put on a grass skirt. You go see Robin, because we have a little ho -ho, ukulele music going on here where we put on the grass skirt, Hawaii, Hawaii, and the pineapple. Over here, we have the man who is typically dressed as the tourist who might go to Hawaii, and what do we have down here? Well, we have some Hawaiian lays, and of course, when you go to Hawaii, you gotta have pineapple, and we have lots of pineapple goop down over there. When I say go, you start tossing those lays in that direction. What do you need to do? Well, you need to catch two Two of those lays wear right on top of your pineapple, all right? Now, you can move around this area. You don't have to stay totally behind the line, but we just don't want you moving up this far, all right? You can move around in that area. Catch two on your head in 20 seconds or less, and we are going to give you 40 additional dollars. Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go! Talk to your Super sloppy double there. Boy, that was great. All right. Well, I'm slipping and sliding over here. Oh, and that sound means it is the end of round one. And with $110, the Brain Freaks have the lead. $80 over here. You know what that means? We can come back. And with that $40 toss up, the lead can change. We have a super sloppy optical course with lots of new obstacles. Come back and join us right after this. Welcome back.
back to the all-new Super Sloppy Double Dare. Uh, if you missed the opening, there's a reason for this. And, uh, well, we don't have the time to, to talk about it now, but it is round two. And uh, that means that uh, in this round, all the dollar values will be doubled. And when you hear this sound, that means the game is over. Blue team could take the lead by 10 if they do this correctly. What do we have over here? Well, we have big, huge chunks of ice cream. In just a few seconds, you will find that ice cream right here. You'll get down on your hands and knees and push it all the way over here, using only your nose, your face, no arms, legs, nothing like that, no shoulders. And once it's behind the line, it must be behind the line, and we'll watch you, you have to push it all the way back with your nose. And the first team to get it past that line gets $40 in control of round two. Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go. Push that ice cream across. And who's going to go first? Okay, that's Jeff Faces. That's what we Faces will go. Okay. Okay, keep going. Who's going to go first? We have the green team and a red team. Uh, green and an orange, actually. Who's going to go first? Oh, you lost it right there. you got to get it back. Oh, this team did it right over here. Yes, the red team. The red team got it. Congratulations. Let's step on back and play some more Super Sloppy Double Dare. Well, that was melting all over the place, and it got down to uh, the nitty-gritty there. But $40 was added to Kim and Jason's tide, uh, side, the Brain Freaks, and they now have $150 and control with this $20 question. Which city could you drive a car to from the continental United States? Would it be Buenos Aires, Barcelona, or Budapest? Worth 20 or you could dare them. There. Now worth $40. What city could you drive a car to from the continental United States? Buenos Aires, Barcelona, or Budapest? Double dare. All right, it's worth $80, or you could take the physical challenge. Physical challenge. Buenos Aires is the answer, and we have an $80 physical challenge right over here for the Brain Freaks. And if you complete this successfully, you'll have a big lead. Otherwise, they'll take the lead by $10. Now, we've been talking about traveling earlier, going to Hawaii. Have you ever been to Europe? No. No? Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to pretend that you're in Europe, so I want you to have a seat right over there. And I'd like you to go over there and be our customs inspector. And the way we're going to do that is put this hat on top of you and also a coat and maybe some glasses as well. Now, over here we have a pin hat, and there's a reason for that pin hat, and I will tell you what it is. Over here we will find out, yeah, that this young lady has been trying to smuggle chocolate balloons from Europe back here to Super Sloppy Double Dare. They are inside these containers. What you have to do when I say go is open those containers as quickly as you can, unzip them. Where's the zipper over here? Oh, there it is, right over there. Unzip these things. Unzip that. Unzip, um, 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 unzip that. Then you have to take the balloons and pop them right over her head. Now, there's whipped cream. There is water. Who knows what else? We're looking for the one chocolate balloon. Find that chocolate balloon. In 15 seconds or less, we're going to give you $80. Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go! Find that chocolate balloon. And if you find it, it's going to save you lots of problems. Okay, take it out. Pop it out there. That's not it. That's whipped cream. That's shaving cream. Still looking for more. There are two other bags there. That's not it. Get them to the other bags. No, that didn't happen. Let's put $80 over there, and they take the lead. I, uh, yes, I do believe. Yes. Come back right up here, and let's do some more super sloppy double there. All right, Brain Freaks, uh, worked against you that time. And with a $10 lead, let's talk to Brenda and David. The Lindy, a popular dance in the 1920s, was named after what famous aviator? Would bring it to 180. There. Now worth $40 would give you the lead. The Lindy, a popular dance of the 20s, was named after what famous aviator? Double dare. Now worth. Oh, it was Charles Lindbergh. That's on me at the end of the game. And by $10, the messy brain busters have won today's game of Super Sloppy Double Dare. Congratulations. Well, guys, you get $80 a piece and more important a trip to the Super Sloppy Double Dare Optical Course. Brain Freaks, you played a super game. $10 separating the two teams. You get $75 a piece. And Harvey, what else do they get? Well, Harvey's getting the word wins. Don't look at that kind of Franklin's amazing word wins. An instantly correct spelling of 80,000 words by Mary Brenner. That plays exciting word games, too. Plus, today we're going to play the Carousel Gumball Machine. You have to catch it. Have fun with Carousel Gumball Machine. It's been a yummy, funny treat machine for dogs. Carousel Gumballs and yummy, funny treats included. Plus, a video game. Go away. 
Welcome to the Super Sloppy Double Dare Obstacle Course. I just want to show you a new trend, wetsuits and Reeboks. Ladies and gentlemen, if you get a shot at this, this is just one of the new things that all the kids will be wearing across America. More important, Brenda and David are here to run the course. Come from behind victory, and uh, we are going to start off on obstacle number one, where David is going to go to the big popcorn box. We're going to push it over. We have huge pieces of popcorn with lots of butter on it. Inside is a flag. You grab that flag, you pass it to Brenda, and you'll win this prize. From Shinon, it's the Auto GX Telecompact 35mm motorized camera. With built-in wide-angle and telephoto lens, you'll always capture all the action from Shinon. That was our first new obstacle. Here's our second. This one is called the Big Kahuna. You go up to the top of this, and there's the flag. You come all the way down here into our sand pit. You pass that flag to your partner, and then you'll win this. Right, Harvey? It's Tyco's four-wheel drive super turbo hopper. Big 112 scale provides four-wheel drive, four-wheel suspension, and twin turbo motors. And it's from Tyco. Number three today is Kid Farm. It is a huge ant-like type farm, and you crawl up that ladder, and you come down over here and crawl through this neck of the woods where the sand is, and then you crawl up over there, jump up, and grab that flag. Your partner will be waiting here. You'll pass that flag, and uh, what's the prize? It's a $200 where you going to find great toys? Baby Toy Store. And where do you go to find Baby Toy Store? Your nearest shopping mall. America's Toy Store. New obstacles galore on Super Sloppy Double Dare. This one is called My Pet Dinosaur. You crawl up this side and your partner pushes the head down. You crawl down the other side. That is where the flag is. No, it's actually over here now. They've moved it. But the important thing is to grab it and the important thing is to win this prize. How about this new bike? The Fusion 500 shifts you into the future with five speeds, radical tires, and space age features. Fusion 500 from Kent. The future is now. Take a look at this face. They say it was modeled after me. I'm not too sure there's a lot of resemblance there. But anyway, you have to go in one ear and out the other. And in there, lots of earwax. That will help slide you through. There is a flag in there. Your partner will be waiting patiently on the other side. You'll pass that flag. And Harvey, what will they win now? Well, they'll get the 29 volume funky rifles, new encyclopedia, and two volume dictionaries. American Premier Home and School Reference Set. Ideal for homework and all family information. Here's an old favorite at times running out. Number six, I will show you. The flag is right there in the center. You reach down and grab that, but these balls will try and stop you because they're going to be coming down fast and furious. Don't let it bother you. Grab it, pass it, and win this. The Baldwin Explorer portable MIDI electronic keyboard with 16 solo voices, 16 automatic rhythms, and built-in stereo speakers from Baldwin Piano and Organ Company. Any questions? No. How about with you? No. All right, they seem secure. This is Lake Double Deer. One of you will dive into the ship and go all the way across. Now, if you fall out, forget the boat. Run over there to where that flag is, where your partner will be, and where you'll win this. From Casio, it's the MS410CA stereo system. It's a name that you're waiting for. MS stereo double possessed of your own CD player. If it's my turn, it's Casio. Lots of new obstacles today, but we thought we'd finish the course with an old favorite called Down the Hatch. You lift it up, you slide down, you grab the flag. If you can do it all in 60 seconds or less, we have a grand prize. What is it, Harvey? A super space adventure. Launch yourself into the future of the real space camp in Huntsville, Alabama. You and a friend will share the adventure of a lifetime in the space of rockets that will trick wide space museum for one walking to a real shuttle. And it's yours if you do it all from Super Sloppy Double Bear. I come from behind victory, a super sloppy course. Let's see if they can go all the way. Audience, cheer them on. On your mark. Get set, go! 60 seconds is what it is. Find the flag inside these kernels. Where could it possibly be? Here it is. Let's see down there. Grab it down there. Pass it over to Optimal number two in the big kahuna. And then it's a re end for Harvard down to 48 seconds. Grab the flag. Oh, she forgot it. Go back up and get it. See if you can get it. Oh, forget it. Go on down. Just go on down. Tap your partner. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, number three. Wait The camera, the Tyco, the KB gift certificate, the bike, the Funkin' Wagnalls, and that portable keyboard, along with the cash, it makes a prize package of over $1,800 each. Thank you so much for being with us today on Super Sloppy Double Dare. How did it feel to go through the lake? I feel wet. You got really wet. How about you? Good, good, good time today? Yeah. Join us over here on Super Sloppy Double Dare. See you. Bye-bye.
Promotional consideration provided by Reebok. Every contestant on Super Sloppy Double Dare receives a free pair of Reebok sneakers. Reebok, the official shoe of Super Sloppy Double Dare. And also by Wella. Shockwave styling products give you total control of your hair. Soft and natural or spiked and glossy. The only limit is your imagination. Shockwave from Wella. Promotional consideration also provided by Ghostbusters. The soft gummy candy and seven popular Ghostbuster characters. Why not try some soon? This is your announcer, Harvey Sand. Join us back here next time for another major gag attack on Super Sloppy Double Dare. See ya.